Welcome back. This is another video from NSA Tau Network YouTube channel. Once again, all of our videos are brief overviews and we could take hours to explain individual processes, products, configurations, security, and other topics. These are meant to be a brief overview of network connected devices. This YouTube channel is dedicated to everything IP and Ethernet connected, both wired and wireless, focusing on network operations, network security, IDS, IPS, firewalls, and other security related devices. We're going to have individual videos for individual topics or products, and this one in particular is how to identify unauthorized network users. Now, that's a relatively broad term, but generally speaking, if you have a computer network, whether it be wired or wireless or a combination of both, it is possible for unauthorized users to come onto your network, utilize network resources, and also masquerade their source as your network. So anything they do on the internet would be tracked back to you and not them. So obviously you see this is a huge security issue. And this is something that routers, but specifically firewalls, because they operate differently, are challenged with trying to address. So this is just a quick demonstration on how to find the users on your network that are requesting dynamic or DHCP IP addresses. This does not address static IP address users. We will have another video to identify those unauthorized. Now typically for unauthorized users, it occurs on our wireless mediums or otherwise referred to as a wireless network, which is why we encourage and promote strong encryption techniques above and beyond including WPA2 to combat unauthorized wireless users. Now, the settings for your SonicWall are located under the dashboard. Since it'll be under monitor, we're actually going to go to the third tab, which is going to be network and under network you're going to see the different network options now we're going to get into each one of these interfaces each one of the options for this uh, sonic operating system which resides on a dell owned sonic wall branded product now, this should be a, a sonic wall this is an nsa model series and this should be the 2.0 version of their sonic os which starts at about 5.25 and that would be a change from the previous web uh, interface and operations and also the, the previous Sonic OS as well. You can typically tell the difference because the legacy web interfaces are in light blue and they include subtle colors. The new interface, as you can see here, includes white and much other information. And it looks obviously a little more modern and contemporary with its font and its placement. So once again, to go down to do a brief check on the authorized users, go ahead and scroll down under network and scroll down to DHCP server. Now this is the internal DHCP server that's not hosted on a system which would be compromised, usually a Wintel platform. Now this is going to be an internal DHCP server that resides on the network equipment. This is without a DNS internal server for small and mid-sized businesses and home offices that require firewall advanced protection. Now if this was an enterprise environment, obviously a DHCP may not be residing on the network equipment and that will be covered in another video. Once again, we can see that we have a DHCP v4. We also have the option for SonicWall Enhanced to do v6. That's a whole other subject. We're gonna focus on four for the time being. And currently we can see that these lease scopes are showing not only present, as you can see here, which is one, but you can also see that it's enabled as well. You can also do details and it will show you a lot more information about how it's going to be done on the network. But basically this is the scope being present. Now giving leases is currently under here, which is the current DHCP v4 leases. That shows how many are available, how many are current, which will be in this column. So once again, the pool is up on top and the current leases of that pool is on the bottom. Now you don't see any leased at this time. If we connected a client that had a network interface, uh, Ethernet wired or wireless, that had DHCP client set for yes, then it would go through the DORA process and it would show here as an active lease, typically a one day duration that's modifiable as well. Now one note you'll happen to notice by the 172 private address range. 
Now that's commonly given to the wireless interface for sonic wall units equipped with a wireless interface. If it was a wired, typically it will be a different IP scheme. Now that's by default of course, it's fully customizable depending on what network you want to set up. But we can tell from this scope that it's typically the wireless interface that would be available on some of the wireless models. Some of the wired models only offer, well, wired connections. So, once again, this is seeing and observing and then obviously responding to possible unauthorized users on your network to protect your network resources, printers, data shares, and also protecting your internet service provider package because whatever comes out of your network is traced back and responsible for you. And so if anybody does anything once they get on your network, it's not going to be traced back to them. It'll be traced back to you. And so that's why it's vitally important to have a firewall and have multiple other network security devices to ensure that you're providing reasonable security measures to protect your company, your employees, your business partners, and obviously anything that originates from your network.